On this episode of Outside the Kitchen, we get a taste of the countryside, and a pub owner shows us how to cook a steak on an open fire. Today's venue, the country town of Warhope. Known as the original timber town, it's located only a 20 minute drive away from the coastal town of Port Macquarie. It's home to an array of forests, rivers, and a bustling country town steeped in history. With this stunning scenery, it's going to offer us the perfect rustic setting for our next outdoor kitchen setup. And today's guest chef is the award winning publican Alistair Flower, who has a passion for food. His venues, which sprawl across the Mid-North Coast, are iconic to the region, including the Hastings Hotel, located in the heart of Warhope CBD. Now let's see if he can transform one of his pub dishes into an outdoor smorgasbord. A chef once told me, to create great food, you need great ingredients, like fresh seasonal produce and locally sourced seafood. But there's one ingredient that'll make any dish go from ordinary to extraordinary, and that's cooking it in nature. Welcome to Outside the Kitchen. How you going, mate? Pretty good, how about yourself? How good is this? You know where you are? I do a little bit. I'm, I'm clearly not from here originally, but I do know we've got sort of the town of Warhope over here and it's mostly surrounded by national park and, and state forest. This is where we're on the Baygay Bluff here and it's amazing this is only 20 minutes from Port Macquarie. See the water here which basically leads from Port Macquarie up the Hastings River to Warhope. Well, I thought what better way to kick off our day of cooking than taking in this kind of uh, vista from up here. We're going to do some cooking? Yeah. The thing is we've got a pub owner as our guest chef today. Uh, it's pretty obvious that uh, we've got to cook a steak. We're going to need to get some ingredients, mate. You up for an adventure? I absolutely am. Right. You lead the way. Let's do it. Oh, uh, what'd you rope me into? Here we are. I thought we'd take the scenic route, mate. You can ride a horse, can't you? I'd like you to meet a very good friend of mine, Chrissy, from Hastings River Horse Riding. How you going, Chrissy? Really well, thank you. So, hey, Alistair's just been telling me you've got some pretty unbelievable trails around here. We sure do. Welcome to our backyard, the magnificent Hastings River at Warhope. Now, Chrissy, we're doing some uh, some cooking later, and I need a couple of special ingredients. Can you help us out? I'm pretty sure I know just the ingredient you need, Alistair. All right, let's do it. Let's jump in the saddle. Uh, we took a bit of a long way to get here, didn't we? Mate, I took you on the scenic route, mate. I should have guessed. I think I know what this magic ingredient is. Right, well, we need to go into the pub to get some beer. Get some beer. Some, some great sauce for our steak that we're going to do on the open fire. Sounds amazing. Let's do it. For our beer steak sauce, I thought we'd have to use some Resh's Pilsner today. And uh, I might get some great New Orleans to, to drink while we're around the campfire. Every horse saddle needs one of these. Ready to go. Hey, thanks, Alistair. Well, we finally made it back from, uh, from the pub. Got all the ingredients, I'm pretty sure, after that little bit of an adventure to collect them all. And it uh, looks like you, you've got uh, everything in front of you ready to go. You want to show us uh, what you're cooking today? We're just going to do a traditional steak. So what we've got here, I've got three cuts of meat here. We've got the big cattleman cutlet here. We've got some T-bone and uh, a scotch. Everyone loves a scotch. So I've got three bits of meat here and we might cook them all up today. So we're also going to be doing some potatoes. Actually, they take a little bit longer, so we'll start with that. And I've got some great other ingredients here to create a, a lovely um, beer steak sauce. So let's get into it. Okay, we're gonna get the uh, checkered potatoes done now in the foil. We're gonna cube up some of the butter there. We're gonna cut the onion, some thyme and some garlic. We've got some salt and pepper in there as well. Put it all together, 
straight into the pie. We need to get the pan now in there, nice and hot. And now we can actually give it a little bit of oil. We're gonna give it some salt and pepper as well. Look at that, how good a meat is that? Sensational. Okay, that's done. Looking at that pan now, it's, it's smoking, so it's hot, it's ready. So I guess that searing's what you're really looking for. That's right. All right, now we've got to be careful not to overcook this, and we're obviously just checking to see how. But look, while we're at it, I think we can put a little bit of beer on this as well. Mm. Just get that ferment. We'll just check it now. I think we're getting pretty close. Let's get. Oh, it's got some great caramelization on the outside, a bit of a crust in there. We'll let this rest here now and we can actually spend some time making the beer sauce. Get the mustard going in. Vinegar. So that honey's from John's River, did you say? That's right, John's River, local, not too far away from here, down there, down the road. A few peppercorns. Salt. Now we're just scraping off the burnt bits at the bottom here. And we're going to return this back to a medium heat. And the fire has died off slightly here, so it's a perfect time to bring it back. And hey mate, the best thing about it, there's a little bit left over. Well, what are you going to do? Beautiful. It's all part of it, isn't it? Here it is, it's all done now, perfect. Potatoes, we've got the meat. I bought some uh, salad mix from the pub. That's our, our normal salad mix there. We've got to have some greens in there. Right? We've got to have some colour and some greens. Yeah. Yeah. Now we've got to put some uh, put the sauce on. Final touch. How good is this? Now, just if you could hold that up. Okay. Look at that. And here we are. This is the perfect Resh's beer steak sauce. Definitely a real punch of beer flavor in there, what do you think? Yeah, there's like some great flavors in that sauce, so that's really good. Well, that's just outstanding. What an incredible day and adventure that we've had. Thanks so much for joining me on this. It's been pretty, pretty epic. I have to say a, a big shout out to Hastings River Horse Riding as well. Chrissy and her team, you guys were awesome. If you want to get the recipe, it's on our website outsidethekitchen.com.au. But make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube uh, to keep up with all the rest of the Outside the Kitchen videos. But until next time, keep cooking outside. What do you think? Grab a few more beers and sit by the fire, finish this off? Right, you got me. Let's go.